lift yourself to sit and come and sit in Virasana, here or Harold's pose. Not too sure what that is. Come and stand on your knees, which your knees to in line with your hips or together. Then open your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Put a block, put a blanket, so put something between your heels and then come to sit. But try not to sit on your heels as we are gonna be sitting here for a while. Good morning, Jen Farthing. Then use your hands and wrap your inseams towards each other. Then press generously against your thighs and allow your sacrum to broaden. Then lift the buttocks and move it way back in the part and come and sit in the front edge of your sitting bones and allow your hips to settle. Good morning, Vera. Good morning, Camille. Then a joyful lift the heart up, allow the shoulders to broaden, allow the left of shoulder base to have ever so lightly towards your spine and softly close your eyes. And as long as you close your eyes, allow your inner gaze now to narrow toward the tip of your nose and allow your eyes to settle. Allow your tongue to settle, allow your bones to settle. <clears throat> and take a moment now to quickly recap your weekend. Everything good, bad that happened for you this weekend. Take a moment to quickly recap your weekend. Morning, Jen. And without getting too involved, Christina, take a moment to look at great plans for the week ahead of you. We still have another day off this week, I think, or two. And use this moment now to let go of what doesn't serve or uplift you anymore. And allow your awareness now to rest on your breath. In this moment, take a moment to notice everything about your breath, where the breath originates, is it in your belly, is it in the rib cage, is it in your chest? And notice where the breath comes to its fullest. Christina, notice where the breath tapers off. Susan, notice that the breath is present in your right nostril in this very moment. Or vice versa, if the breath is present in your left nostril. And again, just observe. Stacy, notice that the in-breath is longer than the out-breath. Or vice versa, if the out-breath is longer than the in-breath. And again, just observe. Mm -hmm. Lastly, your in-breath is a feminine breath. So the top of the nail, there's always a pregnant pause. And your out-breath is a masculine breath. So the end of the exhale is always an emptiness. But this morning, take time to notice what you fill that space with. In this morning, as you settle the comfort of your breath, allow your breath now to expand into your out breath. As you softly weave your out breath right back into your in breath. Breathing in, make a soft mental note to yourself and breathing in. Exhaling, make a soft mental note to yourself and letting go. Inhale, I'm breathing in, there's a pregnant pause. Exhale, I'm letting go, there's an emptiness. And take a moment just to sit in the comfort of your breath. Now very slowly begin to lengthen your breath. Breathing in and taking a long, long breath in. Breathing out and still letting go. Which leads us into our first pranam exercise of the day. So when stretch your arms into a V and create beautiful cups in your hands, it is a blessing and grace from above, we're here to collect it. Please drop your shoulders. Take a big breath in everyone. Welcome the new day of a full breath out, empty it all out. Try this action again, nice big breath in, and really lift up to the front of your body. As you empty it, you draw the shoulder blades down and onto your back. Now breathe yourselves to a comfortable level, and let's all do around a couple of body breath, 108 rapid pumps.
Begin to slow the breath down. Exhale, exhale, exhale completely. Inhale, take a full breath in. Now hook your thumbs over the head. Through your nostrils, take three slow breaths in. Through your mouth, take three slow breaths in. Through your nostrils, one sniff in. Hold it full, everyone. Reach up through your fingertips, wrap your armpits towards each other, and keep drawing those shoulder blades down and in onto your back. Now lower the breath into the belly. Shoot that elbow through the crown of your head, releasing your hands in front of your heart. Take a big breath in, everyone. Of a full breath out. Light the back of the head forward is always bound to the beauty of this new day. Raise your head, reach your hands to your thighs, and softly open your eyes. Good morning, everyone. In again, stretch the arms out to pin above the head. Exhale so again, release your arms alongside your bar. In again, stretch the arms out up and above the head. Reach across and hold on to your right elbow with your left hand. Press it into the end and take a generous leap over towards the left, the right. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale back at the center. Reach across on your left elbow with your right hand. Press it into the end and take a generous leap over towards the left. Take a full breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to the center. It's again, release your arms alongside you and keep that lift in your side body. And again, stretch the arms out up and above the head. Let's take a gentle twist to the left, releasing your right into the outside of your left knee. And again, circle the arms out up and above. Let's take the same twist to the right, releasing your left into the outside of your right knee. And again, circle the arms out up and above the head. Let's take a deeper twist to the left and hold it this time. Now, joyfully lift the heart up. As you stay broad in your clavicle, turn that right belly, turn that left rib cage. Turn the heart, turn your gaze, everyone. Take a full breath in, please, Donna. Have a full breath out. Donna, try to lean back so much into that, into that right hand, left hand. You see, you lift your smile a bit taller. Take a full breath in, please. Have a full breath out. And again, circle the arms out up and above it. They stay the same wisdom, it's the right. Releasing your left into the outside of your right knee. And when shift the weight into your knees, then turn out that left belly, turn that right rib cage, turn the heart, turn your gaze piece there. Inhale your left, exhale you turn. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. And again, circle the arms out up and above the head. Extend the arms forward. In the sense, you plug those shoulder blades onto your back, interlace your fingers, round your back, and come into a seated cat. Exhale, lift your heart center towards the ceiling. Inhale, you round, you go right into your kidneys. Exhale, you arch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and round, hold the kidneys nice and full. Exhale and flush them all out, releasing your arms alongside your body. Great work, everyone. Shift yourself forward into your hands and your knees. Right into your hands and your knees. And create a series of right angles in your wrists, in your ankles, in your shoulders, and in your hips. Very, very nice, everyone. And very smartly extend that right leg long behind you. As you press that through your heel, pull your pubis, your belly button, your sternum forward. Lift that heel in line with your hip, please, uh, uh, everyone. Swing that leg over to the left, look over your left shoulder. Swing to the right, look over your right shoulder. Swing to the left. Swing to the right. Swing to the left. Swing to the right. Now draw that knee in line with your hip and take that knee big choose the circles forward. Nice loose circles forward. So begin to set in a spiral in your right thigh. Extend that right leg long behind you. Now shift the weight to your right hand and extend your left arm forward. And again, expand from the heart center into the fingertips. Now as you draw the left shoulder blade onto your back, work and broaden the back of your right thigh. Take a full breath in, please. Of a full breath out. Three times. 
Round your back and tap your knee to your elbow. And extend. Round your back and press your knee to your elbow. And extend. Round your back and tap your knee to your elbow. And extend. Pause. Kiss that left hand to the floor. Shift everything to the left. Right hand to your right hand. As you're pressing to that right foot, stretch your right arm alongside your right ear. Firm that left shoulder blade onto your back. Then turn your right chest pointed towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in every one. Of a full breath out. Climb right back onto your hands and your knees. Extend that left leg long behind you. And as you press out through your heel, pull your pubis, your belly button, your sternum forward. Lift the heel in line with your hip. Swing to the right, look over your right shoulder. Swing to the left, look over your left shoulder. Swing to the right. Swing to the left. Swing to the right. Swing to the left. Swing to the right. Swing to the left. Now draw that knee line with your hip. And take that knee down big juicy circles forward. So you begin to rotate, articulate that thigh bone in the socket. Extend that left leg long behind you. Shift the weight to your left and extend your right arm forward. And again, lengthen from the hips into the armpits. Now as you draw that right shoulder blade onto your back, work and broaden the back of your right thigh, left thigh. Three times, round your back and tap your knee to your elbow and extend. Round your back and press your knee to your elbow and extend. Round your back and tap your knee to your elbow and extend. Pause, kiss that right hand to the floor, shift everything to the right, left hand to your left hand. As you press into that left foot, stretch your left arm alongside your left ear, and open the left seam of your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a big breath in, please. A full breath out. Climb right back onto your hands and your knees. Now take the knees as wide as the stick and that. Bring the big toes to kiss and push yourselves back into a child's pose. Mm. And really push the butt right into the heels, then climb onto tainted fingers. Wrap your armpits towards the midline. Claw the foot your feet and draw the shoulder blades down and in onto your back. Take a big breath in, please. Have a full breath out. Pull yourselves back onto your hands and your knees, please, Sarah. Right back onto your hands and your knees. I keep on forgetting our new French friend, Christina. Good job. Good. Then we walk that left inner foot forward. Sweep your right arm under your left arm. Come onto your right shoulder and onto your right temple. Place that left leg against your sacrum as you bring balance action to your hips. Extend that left arm up towards the ceiling, taking the gaze down to the left corners of your eyes. Inhale again, lengthen from the hips into the armpits. And as you draw that left hip back in line with your right, allow that rotation to happen across the lower tips of your shoulder blades. Take a big breath in, please. Have a full breath out. Climb right back onto your hands and your knees, everyone. Then walk that right inner foot forward. Sweep your left arm onto your right arm, come onto your left shoulder and onto your left temple. Place that right leg against your and use it like a lever tool. Now turn the lever into the right shoulder and extend your right arm towards the ceiling, taking the gaze and one to the right corners of your eyes. Take a full breath in, please. Have a full breath out. Inhale and exhale. Shift right back into your hands and your knees, everyone. Right back onto your hands and your knees. Now move the knees under the two switches back, tuck the toes under, and let's all meet back in our down dog. Mm -hmm. Then press down into your right heel and your left hand, cross reference. Stretch down into your left heel and your right hand. Again, right heel, left hand, and make that right foot ever so slightly pigeon toe. Left heel, right hand, get the same broad as the back of your left thigh. Again, right heel, left hand, and put a more weight to the thumb side of that left hand. Left heel, right hand, put a little more ground to the thumb side of that right hand. And when we'll ride the breath forward into a plank, take a good measure. So receptive knees, push yourselves right back into a down dog. Again, ride the breath forward into a plank, lower your knees. Your chest, your chin onto the floor, elbows are in. Lift yourselves into a low cobra. 
Lift your hands off the floor. Lift your thighs off the floor. Lift your legs off the floor and come into the floating chaturanga. Take a big breath in, please. The full breath out. Hands down, feet down. Curl the heart up into a queen cobra. Well, the touch Francisco and push yourselves right back into a down dog. Take a full breath in, everyone. Of a full breath out. Extend the right leg high behind you. As you bend your right knee, roll that left hip under your right. Please flex that foot. Now turn the gaze into your left armpit. Look up to see your right heel. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a big breath in, please, Christina. A full breath out. Inhale back through center. Now without a thud, step that right foot alongside your right thumb and rest your left knee to the floor. Please point your left toes. Climb with your tented finger to use your block and straighten, please, your right leg. The right is stretch. Keep looking forward. Exhale and bend with the pubis forward and up. The gaze goes up. Inhale, you straighten. Exhale, you bend. Good work. Inhale, you straighten. Exhale, you bend. Pause. Cup your right knee with your right and cup your heel lift and lift your spine upright. As you hug the knees towards each other, the long is in coming to a low lunge. You know, you can expand from the heart center into the fingertips. And as you wrap those on this one, make life focus on your back, then joyfully lift the heart up. Full breath in, please, Susan. Full breath out. Hands down, everyone, and step it back into a down dog. Good job. Ride the breath forward into a plank. Lower your knees, your chest, your chin onto the floor. Lift yourself again to a low cobra. Lift your thighs off the floor, lift your legs off the floor, lift your hands off the floor, and come back into the floating chaturanga. Take a big breath in, please, Christina. The full breath out. Feet down, hands down. Curl the heart up into a queen cobra. Let the pubis rest, the shoulder blades on your back. Let the task and push yourselves right back into a down dog. Extend the left leg high behind you. As you bend your left knee, roll that right hip under your left. Turn the gaze into your right armpit. Look up to see your left heel. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale back through center. Without the thud, step that left foot alongside your left thumb. Right knee down. Climb with your tented fingers to use your block. And straighten again your left leg. Exhale and bend with the pubis forward and up. Inhale, you straighten. Keep looking forward. Exhale, you bend, gaze goes up. Inhale, you straighten. Exhale, you bend, pause. Cup your left knee with your left and cup your left knee with your right and lift the spine upright. As you hug the heels and gently towards you, just as you can come back into a low lunge. Now, let the arms be extension of your heart, not your shoulders. As you wrap those up towards the midline, firm the blades onto your back and skillfully lift the heart up. Take a big breath in, please. The full breath out. Place both hands back onto the floor and step it back into a down dog. Great job, everyone. Ride the breath forward into a plank. Kiss just your knees onto the floor and the forward. Bend the wrist to a right angle and take a sissy push up. Surrender the hips. Curl the heart up into a queen cobra. Well, the tells you push yourselves right back into a down dog. Take a full breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Extend the right leg high behind you. Now, without a thud, step that right foot alongside your right thumb. Pause for a moment and stretch out to the legs. Now, hug the heels towards each other. So long as you can come into a high lunge. Into a high lunge. And when we stretch out to that front knee, there's your hug the heels towards you. Draw that right hip, that bring your left hip forward. Now wrap those arms towards the midline, throw this onto your back, and again, joyfully lift the heart up. Take a full breath in, please. Have a full breath out. Place both hands onto the floor. Step the left foot forward this time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and fold. And we'll put a slight bend in your knees and take those opposite elbows. Nod the head, yes. 
shake the head no. And as always, flutter your lips. Switch out this piece, Christina, and take a moment and just sway yourselves from side to side. And then when bend the knees up where your belly, your chest can rest against your thighs. So you really need to open up your joints this morning. Rock it back to center, please, Vera. Hence the hips are this towards each other. Just look to stand. Stretching the arms out up and above the head. It's say release your hands in front of your heart. Great job, everyone. Bring the fingers to the fingertips to touch, and in one motion, open everything to the right. And parallel your feet. Hands the hips, please, eldest towards each other. Now joyfully lift the heart up. Now hit your creases, fold them and release those hands well ahead of your shoulders. And again, peep the heart forward, smartly bend your right knee. Stay present in that left foot. Inhale to straighten, skillfully bend your left knee. Stay present in that right foot. Christina, don't go so low. Lift your body step towards the ceiling. Thank you, love. Inhale to straighten, generously bend your right knee again. Just lovely. Keep looking forward. Inhale to straighten, deeply bend your left knee. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, to the front of your mat. Place the jump switch or steps with your legs. Place the jump switch or steps with your legs. And as you hug the heels toward you, you like this and come back into a high lunge. And again, when you stretch out to the arms, and as you're hugging towards the midline, from this onto your back, then lean back into it. Take a full breath in, please, Stacy. Have a full breath out. Place both hands onto the floor and step it back into a dumb dog, right back into the dog. Ride the bread forward in play, play, pause, and wrap muscles to bones. Take out your center and green knees, chest, chin, please. Inhale to an up dog or a low cobra, but tell squeeze and push yourselves right back into a dumb dog. Take a full breath in, everyone, of a full breath out. Inhale and exhale. Now, very slowly, look where you're going. Slowly walk your feet to the outside of your hands, the outside of your hands, and lower yourselves into a squat. The hips are plenty ready for squatting this morning into a squat. Now, if you find that your heels don't make it to the floor, then by all means, put some sort of support under your heels or sit in a block, as demonstrated by Vera. And again, good morning, Jen Farthing, and joyfully lift the heart up. Slide your right shoulder in front of your right knee and anchor into your fingertips. Extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. And again, expand from the heart center into the fingertips. And when press the knee against the shoulder and turn that right belly, turn that left rib cage, turn the heart, turn your gaze, everyone. Lift your chin off your chest. Take a full breath in, please. Go full breath out. Have the hands meet back in front of the heart, Vera. And again, joyfully lift the heart up. Slide your left shoulder in front of your left knee as you anchor into your fingertips. Extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. And again, expand from the heart center into the fingertips, organic energy. And as you press the against the shoulder, turn again that left belly, turn that right rib cage, turn the heart, turn your gaze, please. Full breath in, everyone, full breath out. Have the hands meet back in front of the heart. And again, joyfully lift the heart up. Please broaden across your clavicle. Christina, give me a little bit more lift in your chest. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Kiss your fingertips to the floor, lift your seat towards the ceiling. And again, peep the heart forward, heel toe, heel toe, those feet under your hips. Now, one put a slight bend in your knees and slide your hands under your feet. Come to stand in your palms. Your feet are your stability, your hands are your ability. Now, your stability is a lot more able. And take a moment again to rock back and forth in your ankles at the head gap. And then when bend knees are, bend, knees are bendable, your joints, your hinges. So bend knees are where the belly of the chest can rest against your thighs. Then let the head go. And take a moment now to rock back and forth in your ankles. Rock it back to center, everyone. And slide your hands now under your heels. Under your heels. I get with little kitten heels. 
and bend, bend the knees up where the knees can now fit right into your armpits. The head goes down, then let the head the tail up towards the ceiling and continue to rock back and forth in your ankles. So now we get to wake up her legs. You'll feel this in your thighs. Good work, Donna Penn. We just rock back and forth and you'll your anus a little bit more towards the ceiling without pushing the knees back. So you have to release your lower back. You have to release your hamstrings. Rock it back to center, everyone. Interlace your hands behind your back. And bring these other hands to kiss and stretch and tuck away from your sacrum as you can teach a rock back and forth in your ankles. Rock it back to center, Vera. Now deeply bend the knees. Sweet long is in coming to the chair pose, the awkward chair. Inhale up to stand. It's again, release your hands in front of your heart. Close the eyes for a breather. And bring awareness to your feet, everyone, to your feet. And notice if you're supinating or pronating in your ankles, whatever that means. Are you standing inside of your feet or the outside of your feet? Is there more weight in your heels and you have the balls of your feet? Is all the way in your toes? You're gripping the foot with your toes. So take time to find four points of contact in your feet. So as you're pressing the amount of your big toes, stretch back into your outer heel. As you're pressing the amount of your pinky toe, anchor back into your inner heel. And use it to engage the arches of your feet, the arch of your pelvic floor, the arch of your diaphragm, the arch of your palate. Softly open the eyes and release your arms alongside your body to the asana. Bend the knees, long tears, and come back into your chair pose. Exhale, release your hands to the floor, please. In a hold to lengthen. Step the left leg long behind you and turn that left foot to a 45 degree angle. As long as you're coming to your warrior one. Warrior one. Warrior one, uh, Christina. Back stroke your arms, please interlace your fingers. Inhale and straighten your right leg. Now really turn that left foot to a 45 degree angle and draw your right leg back in line with your left. Joyfully lift the heart up. Stay present in that left foot, re-bend that front knee, fold over and come into the dying warrior. Let the head go, let the neck go. And when you find contact between shoulder and knee, if you're pressing against the shoulder, widen that left hip, then draw your right hip back in line with your left. Take a full breath in, please. The full breath out. Now keeping that broadest in the back of your left thigh, lift yourselves back into warrior one. And as you wrap your armpits towards the middle, flip onto your back, then joyfully lean back into it. Take a full breath in, please. Have a full breath out. Place both hands back onto the floor. Step the left foot forward. In the hold to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Again, bend the knees, long as and come back into your chair pose. Inhale up to stand. Exhale and swan dive your hands to the floor, everyone. In the go to lengthen, step the right leg long behind you and turn that right foot to a 45 degree angle. So long as you can come back into your warrior one. Back stroke your round, interlace your fingers with your body. Inhale and straighten your leg and arrange the hip to three and nine o'clock and joyfully lift the heart up. Rebend that front knee, fold over and come back into the dying warrior. Again, find contact between shoulder and knee. As you're pressing against the shoulder, widen that left hip, that right hip, then draw your left hip back in line with your right. Take a full breath in, everyone. Of a full breath out. Let yourselves back into warrior one. As you wrap your arm with the middle, like, flip onto your back, then joyfully lift the horn up. Breathe in and breathe out. Place both hands back to the floor and step it back into a dumb dog. Great job, everyone. Ride the bread forward into a plank. Take out your center and bring each chest chin, please. We inhale to an up dog or a low cobra. The tells you when push yourselves right back into a dumb dog. Again, stretch hands to the hands that come to your seat. And as you micro bend your knees, ground down to the center of your heels. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend the knees for between the hands. Step, jump, or run your feet forward. Inhale to lengthen. 
Nixon fold. Again, bend the knees launches and come back into your chair pose and hold. Now, when clasped, make sure you can see all 10 toes. If you can't see the toes, oddly enough, bring the knees forward and let your buttocks to move back. And as you wrap your arms towards the midline, align your triceps with your cheeks. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale up to stand. Extend again, release your hands in front of your heart. Bring the fingers to touch. In one motion, opening everything to the left and parallel your feet. To the left and parallel your feet. Hands to hips, please. Elbows towards each other. Again, joyfully lift the heart of Vera. Now, hit your creases, fold over and take over the big toes with the middle and index fingers. And again, peek the heart forward. Bend those elbows out to the side, draw the shoulders onto your back, and rest the crown of your head onto the floor. Let's not lock the knees out, but work in shaking away the balls of your feet and make your knees up towards the ceiling, and continue to hug those shoulder blades down and in onto your back. Take a full breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Now, keeping that broad neck of your thighs, it just says, or to stand, tee your arms away from the midline. Turn the left foot in, please. Turn the right leg and foot out. Turn the palms up, tilt back and come into reverse triangle. Now turn the stretch out to the legs. And as you hug the heels, so bring a strong lift out to that space between your pubis and your belly button. Take a full breath in, please, Jen Farley. A full breath out. Now lengthen the knee and release that right into the outside of your right heel. Use blocks if you can't find the floor. Extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. And again, lengthen from the pubis and the palate. And as you firm that right shoulder blade onto your back, turn again that right belly. Turn that left ribcage. Turn the heart. Turn your gaze, everyone. Full breath in, please, on a pen. Or a full breath out. Strongly lift your way back up to stand. Rebend that front knee and come back into your warrior two. Turn the palms up. Tilt back and come into reverse warrior. Now try to stretch out and please bend your front knee some more, Donna. And as you have the heel, bring a strong lift now to the pelvic floor, in and up. Take a big breath in, please, Stacey. A full breath out. Now release your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Extend your left arm up towards the sky. And when find contact between shoulder and knee, as you're pressing against the shoulder, turn again that right gut. Turn that left rib cage. If it's appropriate, drag that left knee across your back, wrap your right armpit under your right thigh, and hold on to your left wrist. Please straighten your left arm, please straighten your right leg, and come into the bound triangle. And again, lengthen from the sternal palate. Now press it into shoulder, and turn your right chest point up towards the ceiling. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. Smart and rebend that front knee. Effortlessly reach to your arms. Skillful lift yourselves back into warrior two. Turn the palms up again. Tilt back and come into reverse warrior. Breathe in and breathe out. Release your right forearm onto your right thigh, left hand to your left hip. There's a tension to the legs. Stretch that left arm alongside your left ear and come into the modified extended side angle. Take a full breath in, please, please, for enough right shoulder blade onto your back. Have a full breath out. Straight, strongly lift your way up to stand. Turn that left hip, that right hip. Rebend your right knee, come back into warrior two and hold. And once you're down to your turn, turn to the legs. Now hug the heels toward and turn the gaze, please, to see your right middle finger. Is everyone frozen? Breathe. Are you all frozen? Oh dear, I hate when that happens. It was going so fine. Can you all hear me? Are you all frozen? We're not frozen. We're all in warriors too. <laughs> not frozen. You're not frozen? Okay, good. perfect, go right ahead. Thank you, Susan. Take a full breath in, please. A full breath out. Cartmill your hands the front foot. And step it back into a down dog, everyone. Right back into a dog. Ride the breath forward into a plank. Take out your chaturanga and knees, just chin, everyone. Inhale to an up dog or a low cobra. The task is to put yourself right back into a down dog. 
Take a full breath in, please, dog with pen. Have a full breath out. Bend the knees so between the hands. Step, jump, or run your feet forward. Inhale and hold to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Bend the knees, long as and come back into your chair pose. Inhale up to stand. It's again, release the hands in front of your heart. Bring the things to touch. In one motion, open your things to the right. To the right. And again, parallel your feet. Did I lose Christina? No, she's right there. Hands to hips, everyone elbows towards each other. Again, joyfully lift the heart up. Now, he now creases, fold over and release those hands under your shoulders. And again, peep the heart forward. Walk the fingers back on the toe tips. Bend the wrist to a right angle and rest the crown of your head onto the floor. Now, when working, draw the shoulders onto your back. Breathe in. Keep shipping away the balls of your feet. And breathe out. Hands to hips. Elbows towards you. Let yourself up to stand. Teen your arms away from the midline. Turn the right foot in, please, Akiko. Turn the left leg and foot out. Turn the palms up, tilt back and come into reverse triangle. Then when checking this all the way in your right foot, stretch into the legs generously. Then as you hug the heels to a bring a strong lift down to the pelvic floor, in and up. Now lengthen the heels and release that left into the outside of your left heel. Extend your right arm up toward the ceiling. And again, lengthen from the pubis to your pelvic. Now as soon as you wrap that left buttock under your right, firm that left shoulder blade onto your back, then turn the butt, turn the heart, turn your gaze, please. Full breath in, everyone. Full breath out. Then just as right back up to stand. Rebend that left in, come into your warrior two. Turn the palms up, tilt back, and come into reverse warrior. Now try to stretch out the legs, everyone, and continue to hug the heels so as you strongly down to the pelvic floor, in and up. Release your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Extend your right arm towards the ceiling. As you're pressing against your shoulder, turn again that left arm towards the ceiling. Drag that right hand across your back. Wrap your left arm under your left thigh and hold on to your right wrist. Please straighten your right arm. Please straighten your left leg and come into the bound triangle. And again, lengthen from the sternal palate. You want to press the against your shoulder and turn your left chest point up towards the ceiling. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. Smartly bend that front knee. Effortlessly reach to your arms. Skillfully lift yourselves back into warrior two. Turn the palms up again. Tilt back and come into reverse to warrior. Notice your second way to twist your hands to the legs and continue to hug the heels energetically towards each other. Release your left forearm onto your left thigh, right hand to your right hip. As you bring back to with your legs, Sweep your right arm alongside your right ear and come back into the, the modified extended side stretch. And again, lengthen from the hips into the armpits, left side, right side. As you firm that left shoulder blade onto your back, turn your right chest point up toward the ceiling. Big breath in, please, bear a sun. Full breath out. Lift yourselves back into warrior two and hold. Again, stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs. And as you hug it towards me, turn the gaze, please, to see your left middle finger. Breathe in. And breathe out. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. Listen carefully. Inhale and straighten your left leg. Parallel your feet. Hands to hips again, elbows towards each other. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Those feet right under your hips. Ha! Wasn't that lovely? Everyone shift the weight into your right foot and draw your left knee up. And draw your left knee up. Mm. Place the sole of your left, your, uh, left foot to your right and see. Have the hands meet in front of the heart, please. We come into the tree pose. Have the hands meet in front of the heart. If it's appropriate, extend your up to the seat and come into the tree pose. And when we wrap those armpits towards the midline, press the foot against the thigh, the thigh against the foot, and engage the pelvic floor. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. Have the hands meet back to the heart, please, Jen Farley. 
hug that knee towards the midline, extend that leg behind you, make your way down to warrior three, taking whatever arm expression comes naturally to you. Take a full breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Inhale back up to span. It's again release the arms alongside your body to dosna. Wasn't that lovely? Shift the weight into that left foot. But you love when I talk to myself. Shift the weight into that left foot and draw your right knee up. Stand tall. Now place the sort of your right foot to your left in the seam. Again, have the hands meet in front of the heart, please. And second, are you gripping the floor with your toes? Find four points of contact in your feet. If it's appropriate, Christina, extend your round up towards the ceiling. Now it stays to wrap those armpits towards each other and draw the shoulders on your So you can lift up to the front of your body. Take a big breath in, please, Vera. A full breath out. Have the hands meet back in front of the heart, everyone. Susan, hug that knee towards the midline. Francisco, extend that leg behind you and come back into warrior three, taking the same arm expression you took on the other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale back up to stand. Great work, everyone. Extend, release your hands in front of your heart. Close the eyes for a breather. And take a moment to connect with that pulsation of the life force energy throughout your body. Prana. Softly open the eyes, arms alongside the body. Tadasana. Good morning, everyone. Let's do some balancing, some arm balancing. Step your feet to touch. Bring your feet to touch. Bend the knees, as long as you can come into your chair pose. Go really deep. Exhale, release your hands flat to the floor. Climb the balls of your feet and fit your knees into the armpits. Shift the weight into your hands and take flight into Bakasana, the crane pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Step your feet back onto the floor and lower yourselves into a child's pose, into a closed knees child's pose. How was that for you, Christina? <laughs> closed knees child's pose. Great job, everyone. If you have a headstand practice, a forearm stand practice in the middle of the room, go right ahead and do so. If you're working against the wall, be mindful of your wall, be mindful of your, uh, your paintings, your photographs, and be mindful of your neighbors. So don't toss yourself against the wall. If you're not inverting this morning and you look at your screen, Donna Penn is doing the dolphin. Not too sure what that is? She's on the third row, second in, she's doing the dolphin. It's a wonderful way to build strength in the upper back. Jen Farley, that was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Christina, are you doing the dolphin this morning or are you gonna do it upside down? Good, so if you see on your screen, we've got Francisco and Donna Penn doing the dolphin. If you're not inverting this morning, then try and do the dolphin. Good morning, Camille, good morning, everyone. Very, very lovely. Christina, think of going back and forth, rocking back and forth. Yeah. But look forward, Christina. Look forward. Let's see those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when you're around, Christina, it's like working on the computer. You really want to get that nice softness between your shoulder blades. Beautiful work, everyone. If you're upside down, fold yourself back into a child's pose, please. Right back into a child's pose. That's beautiful. Reconnect with your breath. Very often when we go upside down, we tend to muscle our way through it, then we disconnect from the breath. But here's a chance to, uh, to uh, reconnect with the breath. Kiss your hands to the floor, tuck the toes under, and push yourselves right back into a down dog. Right back into the dog. Let's do another arm balance. Rise the bread forward into a plank, Francisco. Now, either stack in your legs, shiver it into the left, right hand to your right hip. You don't lift up to match your shoulders, extend that right arm towards the ceiling and come into Vasti Svasta, the side plank. Breathe in and breathe out. Kiss that right hand to the floor, other than your plank for a breather. Shiver things to the right, left hand to your left hip. 
Did you bring your pubis to the left, extend that left arm towards the San Francisco, and come back into the side plank. We did that earlier, earlier we did a variation of this. You can do the same variation. Take a full breath in, please. A full breath up. Place both hands back onto the floor and push yourself right back into a down dog. Very lovely, everyone. Kiss your knees onto the floor and come and stand on your knees. Come and stand on your knees. Let's do some back bending. Tuck the toes under and rest your head against you and use your thumbs to really find your tailbone. Now don't push forward as so you press that tailbone down and engage the pelvic floor. Back stroke your right into your right heel to the sole of your foot against your sacrum, please bear up. Back stroke your left against the sacrum to the heel against your sacrum, against your heel against the sole of your foot. Then drop the head back and take a quick sniffing breath. Inhale back up. Shoot yourself back onto your hands and your knees. Tuck the toes under and push yourselves right back into a down dog. Clear the lower back out. Rise the breath forward into a plank. Bend the elbows straight back and release everything onto the floor. Right onto the floor. This is lovely. Interlace your hands behind your back and straighten and drop towards your heels. Lift your shoulders. Lift your head. Lift your chest. Get that going from your body. So lift your thighs. Your legs off the floor. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take a big breath and please bear up. The full breath out. Release everything onto the floor and take your arms into a T. Into a T. Just below your shoulders. Turn onto your right cheek, everyone, the one in your face. Bend your left knee. Lift your left hip. Set the ball of your left foot behind your right. Beautiful work. Mm. Now work in putting that right shoulder towards your left hand. If it's appropriate, backstroke that neck and Susan, interlace your fingers. You can always put a block under your head. It's a shoulder opener. Take a full breath in, please. Give a full breath out. Roll right back onto the belly. Take the arms back into a T. Turn onto your left cheek. Bend your right knee. Lift your hip and set the ball of your right foot behind your left. Backstroke your right, interlace your fingers. Stretching away from your sag and a bit more broadness across your clavicle as you lift that right kneecap up towards the ceiling. Big breath in, please. Full breath out. Roll right back onto your belly, everyone. Oh, it's just lovely. Let the spine settle for a moment. Now bend both knees. Reach back into the tops of your feet, Francisco. It will press your shins to the back and lift your head, your chest off the floor. Lift your heels and lift your thighs off the floor. Breathe in and keep pushing those shins back and breathe out. Release everything onto the floor. Turn onto the right cheek for a breather. The sacrum settle. Very lovely. Roll onto your backs, everyone. Right onto your backs. And roll onto your backs. That was just lovely. The spine settle for a moment. Please hold on to your back on a pen. Good morning, Jim Farthing. Mm -hmm. You want to bend the knees up and step your feet as wide as the sticky mat. Rest the knees against each other. Let the sacrum broaden. Let the lower back settle for a moment. Mm. So notice if you're lifting the back of your rib cage off the floor, find that natural arch in your lower back. Find that broadest in your sacrum, that broadest in, your, in, in the back of your rib cage. And once you step your feet in line with your hips, hug your elbows alongside your ribcage and point your knees up towards the ceiling. Pr stretch your knees forward and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Wrap that right shoulder under. Wrap that left shoulder under. Interlace your hands behind your back, everyone. Now press your interlock to the floor, lift your pubis up towards the ceiling without clenching the buttocks. So work in stretching your knees forward so you lift your pubis into that space. Take a big breath in, please, on the pen. Keep lifting the hips up some more. Have a full breath out. Release your arms out to the side and lay your spine bone by bone back onto the floor. 
And when rest your left into your heart, your right into your belly. And take a minute to feel the pulsation of the life force energy throughout your body. Left into the heart, right into the belly. Take your hands alongside your ears, fingertips with your shoulders, or lift your hips and interlace your hands again behind your back. If you have the hands alongside your ears, uh, please, Francisca, hug the others in. Stretch the knees forward and lift yourselves into a wheel. Mm -hmm. Now stay present in your legs. So keep stretching the knees forward to lift up. Oh, very lovely, Christina. Work and straighten the arms now. Take a full breath in, please. Oh, Christina, I remember exactly who you are now. Have a full breath now. Chin to chest, everyone, and come on down. Great job. Step your feet again as wide as the sticky mat. Take the arms into a T. Spill the knees over to the left and turn your head to the right. That's just lovely. Inhale, back up to center. Spill the knees over to the right as you slowly turn your head to the left. And continue to follow the breath now, Vera, in your left lung. Inhale, back to the center, please, Francisco. Hug both knees onto your chest. Let the head rest. Mm -hmm. Now, very smartly, everyone, shift both hips over to the right and release both knees over to the left. Cactus it to your arms when it's appropriate. Turn your head again to the right. As you follow the breath now in your left lung, please turn your palms up. Inhale back to the center, please, Jen Farley. Shift the hips over to the left and take both knees over to the right. When it's appropriate, turn your head to the left and continue to follow the breath now in your left lung. So reminder that left lung is a relationship with your right nostril, that right lung is a relationship with your left nostril. It's a cross-reference in the body. Roll onto your right side, press into that left hand, lift yourself up to sit in a comfortable cross. Lift yourself to sit, extend the legs long ahead of you. Extend the legs long ahead of you. Beautiful work. Now, put a slight bend in your knees, a slight bend in your knees. Take your hands alongside your hips, please, Jen Farthing, and flex both feet. This is an actual pose. Frank, don't drop it, don't lift the shoulder, but put a slight bend in your elbows, Frank. We see you lift again from your hips into your armpits without lifting the shoulders. Take a full breath. This is an actual pose with a full breath out. Now, keeping that lift in your spine, fold over and come into Pachimotanasana. Into Pachimotanasana. Fold forward and the knees fit into your armpits. And keep drawing the shoulder blades down into your back, look well beyond your toe tips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Big breath in, please, Vera. Full breath out. Inhale, back up to sit, please, Susan. Step your left foot to the outside of your right knee. Extend your right arm. Let's say the twist to the left, releasing your right elbow shoulder to the outside of your knee. And when pressing against the shoulder, and turn that right gut, turn that left rib cage, turn the heart, turn your gaze, please. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, you turn. Full breath in, please. Full breath out. Inhale, back through center. Let's all come to twist the right. Inhale, back through center. Place the sole of your left foot to your right in seam. Left foot, right in seam. Now, put a side bend in that left knee. Lift your right to see that right leg. Fold over and come into uh, Junction your shots to the C. And again, lengthen from the hips into the armpits, left side, right side. And when turn the belly so light to the right, and keep drawing the shoulder blade down and you onto your back. Big breath in, please. Full breath out. Inhale back up to set, extend that left leg long. So then step your right into the other side of your left knee. Extend your left over towards the ceiling. This is a twist to the right. Releasing your left elbow to the other side of your. Please flex that left foot, everyone. Now press the knee against the elbow shoulder and turn again that left belly. Turn that right rib cage, turn the heart, and allow your head to follow. So don't go ahead of yourself. The head is the last thing that moves. Take a full breath in, please. Use that right lung. With a full breath out. Inhale back through the center. This counter twist to the left. 
That's just gorgeous. Inhale, back through center, please, gently farthing, and place the sole of your right foot to your left in seam. Right foot, left in seam. This side, bend in that left knee. Now lift your chair to see that left leg. Fold over Christina, and come back into Janashir Shasana C. Everyone put a bit more back into that left here. Really put a bit more weight back into your left buttock. Then turn the gut everything gun to the left. And again, fold into it. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take a big breath in, please. With a full breath out. Inhale back up this sit, everyone. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Mm -hmm. The soles of your feet to touch. And slide those heels maybe a good three feet into your pubis. Now, joyfully lift the heart up. Bend the elbows in front of your knees. Fold over and come into body. Tarasana, actually. This is actually Tarasana. Breathe. Keep stretching the front of your body force. You're not rounding into it. Oh, that's just gorgeous, Christine. That's exactly what I like to see. The clavicle broad as opposed to your shoulders getting narrow. So we're going to see if you can really pull your chest forward and keep cascading those shoulder blades down and in onto your back. Take a big breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Inhale back up to sit, everyone. Trying to roll onto you, but keep that lift in the front of your body. Use your hands and close your knees. Take on the back of your thighs. Lift your toe tips to knee level, eye level above your hairline. If it's appropriate, extend your arms forward and come into Navasana. The boat pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower yourselves halfway down into Ardhana Vasana. Take a full breath in, everyone. Have a full breath out. Release everything onto the floor and lift yourself into a happy baby. A happy baby. As you slowly rock yourselves from side to side. Rock it back to center. Hug both knees onto your chest, please, Francisca. Swing the legs overhead and come into Halasana. Swing the legs overhead and come into Halasana, the plow pose. Very, very lovely, look, the plow pose. Interlace your hands behind your back. Very nice. And stretch it, press the interlock to the full note of your clavicle. Rest your hands right under your shoulder blades. Lift your legs up to a sink and into the shoulder stand this morning. Into the shoulder stand. Again, you're in your home. So if, you, if you'd like to also go to the wall and put your legs at the wall, it's a variation to the shoulder stand. Donna, put a block against your, against your sacrum. Put a block against your sacrum, Donna. Mm -hmm. Christina, walk the hands further down your back towards your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Now see if you bring your legs down top of your hips, away from your face. Good work, everyone. Mm -hmm. And who we got there with Camille this morning? Is that your granddaughter, Camille? Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, that's our friend from Croatia. Yes. And her son, yes, of course. Beautiful. Vera, bring those legs, yes, right there. And bar give me Barbie-like feet, but Vera. Yes. So as much as you're pressing up for the heel, you're also pressing up for the mouths of your toes. Lower the legs back overhead into her last another cloud pose. Point your toes. Bend your knees, rest your hands against your calves, and press your shins a little closer towards the floor. Karnipadasana. Good work, Jen. Kiss your hands onto the floor and roll the spine bone by bone back onto the floor. Straight legs, please, Donna. Turn the palms down. Press into the hands and onto the crown of your head, everyone. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Puff the chest up. Jennifer, fabulous day. Chin to chest, come on down. Let's all sit to take rest. Shavasana, 
corpse pose. Now, if there's anyone who amongst us feeling poorly in the lower back, generally the fabulous back, feeling poorly in the lower back, then place those blocks in the back of your thighs, not the back of your knees, but the back of your thighs. So the sacrum can settle. Especially if you have a sway back. Otherwise known as lordosis. And give yourself permission now to completely let go, the support of the floor, the comfort of your breath. From a cellular level, begin to wake your body up. Point and flex your feet a few times. Open and close your hands a few, few times. Roll your wrists, your ankles in both directions a few times. Draw the right knee up. Draw the left knee up and roll onto your side. Whatever side is appropriate to roll onto, roll onto that side. Your right side is your paternal side. Your left side is your maternal stock. Choose wisely. <laughs> Chin to chest, press into the top arm, and lift yourselves into a comfortable cross legged seat. And take a moment as you close there, take a moment to turn on your inner smile. Take your left in front of your heart, extend your right arm away from the midline and softly close your eyes. Now, if there's anything that you need to forgive yourself for, if there's anyone that you need to forgive, if there's any shame and a guilt that you're holding your body this morning, use this moment to let it go. Take a big breath in everyone and let it out with a heartfelt sigh. Ha! <sighs> now breathe yourself to a comfortable level. Let's fan the heart. Chin up, everyone. Take it overhead on the guilt trip upstairs. Take down below a lot of shame downstairs. Up and down a few times. I really clear your aura for the week ahead of you, the day ahead of you. Up and down a few times and take a full breath in. Extend your arms out. Hook your thumbs through your mouth. Take three slow breaths in. Through your nostrils, take three slow breaths in. Through your mouth, take three slower breaths in. Through your nostril, one sniff in. Hold it full. Hold all that energy and all that goodness in. Now lower the breath into the belly. Shoot that breath through the crown of your head, releasing your hands in front of your heart. Then lightly bow the head forward. Is always bound with love compassion, forgiveness, and enormous gratitude, which will bring you true joy. Namaste.